hello welcome back to my channel and um, so I just want to talk about my skin and um, I wanted to do this for a while but I just didn't because I didn't want it to come across as like a pity video or to look up our attention because that's not what it is but basically um, I put this video up like ages ago about how to apply makeup on psoriasis and a lot of people like messaged me about it and like asking loads of questions about psoriasis and stuff like that and not only that but I actually get asked stuff about it like literally on a daily basis so I just decided to make this video um, and just explain like my story of it. First of all I just do not want any pity from this or oh god love you oh that must be so hard I don't want that I don't want attention I don't want people feeling sorry for me Um, I'm literally just answering questions that I get asked all the time so um, first of all, I'll just say like when I got it and everything. Um, literally got it when I was about 12, just started on my scalp, like tiny little bits just around it. Um, and then it just started spreading like down my ears, down the back of my neck and like on the top of my whole back. And it stayed there, sorry, I just had a shower and I'm really itchy. <laughs> um, it stayed in them areas for like a good few years. Um, and then eventually I just started moving on to like my arms and I had a big patch on my elbow and um, just started spreading everywhere and eventually then I end up having it like on every part of my body. Now when I say that I don't mean every single part of my skin was covered, it wasn't, but there wasn't a place on my body that I didn't have it if you know what I mean. Even if it was just a small piece it was still there. Um, like people don't understand how skin affects people, like everyone is different but it affected me really bad like I didn't want to go out and you know like having to cover up all the time like it's so annoying you'd be so paranoid about it as well and um, like people do comment on it even if they're not being bad they'd still say things and you just want to forget about it and you're like why are you even saying it and then they'd you know they'll ask you something about it and then you're kind of going oh yeah no it's not that it's actually psoriasis and then they're like oh oh yeah like and you tell them the story about how shit you feel and they're like oh well you can't even notice it i never noticed and you're like obviously it is because you commented on it like it's okay but like it can just be so awkward sometimes so just be careful what you say to people like i never felt sensitive towards people asking so i know some people do and um, it was more myself that was very conscious of it and like in my own head was making myself feel worse especially when it started spreading onto my face and um, that was kind of the worst for me because like I don't wear makeup or anything that much but like you want when you get spots or anything you want to wear makeup to cover up but trying to cover this just made it look a thousand times worse than what it was so like I don't really wear makeup like the effort I have to go through to put it on like it's just not worth the effort and um, but it was when I got to my face when I got really down about it and Anyways, I, I'd been going to doctors and stuff for years about it and they were just giving out loads of creams and like nothing ever worked for me. Um, like it would clear up the scale on it but the redness would never go away and the patches would never clear. So I started doing sunbeds and like that completely cleared it up but um, I was only like 18 at the time and I didn't realise like how bad they are for you. So anytime like that it get really bad, I'd literally just go on them for a week, clear it up. But I also really badly sun damaged my whole body from doing that. So now I'm real paranoid about that because that's gonna age my skin when I like quite young as well and I've all like freckles on my chest and I'm like I just hate it like sorry my dog's playing for a ball. Um so that was bad for me to go and do them sunbeds and anyways eventually I got to see a dermatologist in the hospital and they put me on these UVB light beds and they're basically like a sunbed but they're way stronger like you literally go on it for 30 seconds as your first turn because it's that strong it's just pure UVB light and that cleared up my skin and never cleared up my scalp but it cleared the rest of my body but I done that for like 12 weeks and you have to go into the hospital like every second day to do it like it's so inconvenient it's unbelievable but I mean you have to try it so I was doing that then stopped doing it because like the treatment was over and literally within a couple of weeks it came back Um, so I had a follow-up appointment then say a few months later and I went back and they were like right we'll try it on it again so they done it again the same treatment and um, same thing happened they came back again 
but every time I came back it was getting worse like the, the patches were just getting bigger and bigger and then I was put on this tablet and um, it's called Metatrexate this was like not last year but the year before and like I don't like taking medication for anything I'm real worried like that because like they're chemicals and they do shit to your body that you don't know about and I just don't like it so I didn't want to go on it but I just got to a stage where I couldn't even look at myself and I literally won't go out anywhere like even if me and Dean would be getting ready to go places like I'd spend ages getting ready and I'd go to walk out and I'd be like oh no I don't want to go because I just feel so paranoid about myself and just shitty like and even if I was sitting on a bus like you know if I couldn't get a seat at the back I'd be just sitting on the bus thinking the whole time people are looking at behind my ears because it was really bad behind my ears like it was horrible and like you would notice people are like nobody even looks at that type of stuff but I do so obviously other people look in the back of behind people's ears if they're sitting behind them you see it big scab like of course you're gonna look but so I was just like really really down and I just decided right I'm gonna just try this tablet and see what happens because if I didn't try it I'd probably still feel the way I did back then um, so I tried it and what you do is you take this tablet once a week but it's very 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 strong um, like it's actually used for some types of cancer and all that's how strong it is now obviously they'd be getting a way higher dose than me but like I couldn't drink any alcohol at all while I was taking it because it can damage your liver and um, if I got pregnant they basically told me like the baby would be deformed um, and it wasn't even like oh there's a chance of this happening it was like no like this will happen if you get pregnant like just mad stuff like that um, and so I'd take it like on a Wednesday night because I wasn't in work on Thursdays and like I swear to god I'd wake up on Thursday morning and I'd just be so sick because like I have a real weak stomach anyways and I can't even take Norofen or Tylex around for like headaches and all that I'd get sick so this was really making me sick and um the more I was on it and talking to people that kind of knew the tablet, they were kind of like, oh my god, you take that? Like, what the hell? So, it got to a point where I was getting sick from like a Thursday till a Sunday then, and I just felt awful, I looked shit. My skin was completely cleared, like my scalp and everything, it was the first thing that ever cleared it. Um, but I just wasn't feeling good at all, and I just felt paranoid about what it was doing to my body as well. So, I stopped taking it then, and this was like... When was this? This would have been like around March 2015. I stopped taking it. I went back to the hospital and I told her everything. She's like, right, we'll just give you a break for a while and see how you get on. So I was still clear for a couple of months after that and then um everything kind of started coming back slowly again. Now it's it hasn't come back as bad as it was before, but it still came back loads, like um but anyway. I stopped taking that then, yeah, I went back to the hospital and she said we'll give you a break and whatever, come back in a few months and we'll see. So I went back and I actually felt great because I felt like I was able to control my skin a bit more and it's more like of a mental thing, like if you just accept that you have it and stop thinking, oh my god I'm so ugly, I'm so rotten, like this is disgusting, you have to just accept it, like it's not something that's killing you, um, it could be way worse and you're never gonna get rid of it so you have to just get over it basically like that's the thing you literally just have to get over it um so i kind of just done that and i don't feel the way i did before like don't get me wrong guys days where i feel shit because like i mean like i feel shit this week because i can't sort me me face out but i get over it you know like before it stopped me from doing things but now it just doesn't i just kind of get on with it um so anyways i kind of i wasn't taking anything for ages and then I went back there when, um I don't know about two months ago and they gave me like I felt fine I was like I don't want anything like I'm grand dealing with it myself and the doctor was just like oh no we need to get you clear we need to get your body clear and all this and I was like right but I really don't want to be taking medication and they kind of like pressure you like and she kind of like talked me into just taking a tablet so she gave me a new tablet and said like this is new it's only for psoriasis so it might work like better than the other tablet it won't have as many side effects and stuff like that and um, the only thing is like it can change your mood so I was like okay yeah so I took it and I kind of had in my head I wasn't going to take it to be honest from the start because I just didn't want it and um, I went home and I just like was reading up stuff oh, sorry. I was just reading up stuff about the tablet and how you know side effects and things like that but I was on the actual manufacturer's website so um 
the first thing that comes up is like highly linked with depression like the tablet basically gives you depression it was saying like it's really it's a high kind of risk you're taking by taking it and um, then another thing was like i had asked her i said like does it affect becoming pregnant and stuff like that i'm not trying to have a baby by the way but obviously i want it in the future and she's like no no not at all but then i read like i hadn't even been tested on pregnant women yet so i just didn't take it then and um i haven't been back since but anyways i'm gonna insert some things of like what my skin actually looks like <laughs> This is my face like oh my god this light is like killing my face anyways this is my face like oh my, i actually can't look at that right after i have a shower so like you can see you know most of the scale is gone um it's still red um oh my god see this yoke Yeah, it's still kind of red, so I'm going to put on my moisturizers and stuff and then show you what it's like afterwards. I'm going to use this serum from La Roche-Posay. It's the Intense, or sorry, Hydrophase Intense Serum. And then it's the same kind of type one, but in an eye cream. And then I'm going to use this Active Moist Moisturizer. So I use Active Moist, I know that's for oily skin, but the reason I use it is because um, the other ones are too thick on my skin and then I get lots of blackheads, so I like using that one. Um, yeah, that's why I use that in case anyone's like, that's not for dry skin, I know. And here's my face with all the creams on. Um, like you can kind of see it's not flaky at all really, except for this eye. Because that one is just really bad at the moment, but oh my skin looks out, I look so ugly. Anyway, um, yeah that's what it looks like. Like it feels much better, like I'd be able to put makeup on on top of that, but I know that it just wouldn't last really well, do you know what I mean? Like it would probably, after a couple of hours of dryness would start coming back because it's like really bad at the moment, so I probably wouldn't wear it. <laughs> Um, this is what my legs look like. So this is the worst part. And I just shaved them as well, so... Like, there's some raw pieces of skin, like... Um, yeah, so like, that's the most ugliest part of me. Um, and that leg is worse than the other one. This is the other leg. So... You can see like it's much smaller um, and like it's not on that side at all it's literally just there so if I didn't put moisturizer on that now that would literally go completely white and like scale over I missed a few hairs but yeah like it would go completely white and crusty Um, I might leave it and see what's like at the end of the video to show how dry it goes if I don't moisturize so you can see here where like see the way it's going all white like that whole thing then will go like that as well um yeah so it would all go like that but i'm gonna put moisturizer on now because it's actually really itchy now just to let people know my skin is so mild compared to what it used to be and so mild compared to what other people go through like some people just have it so hard like it, it can just get insane like out of control and like it's really horrible what i can get like for some people so i am really lucky um that it's not on that level but again like stuff that works for me might work for other people um yeah so i just don't know like it's one of them things that you have to just try things i wouldn't go down the medication route if i'm honest because i didn't agree with it but then some people do but i'm just not into it um another thing i want to say was yeah like a lot of people think like psoriasis is a skin problem it is but it's not like it's actually an autoimmune disease so it's inside your body that's affected it's not actually your skin it just reacts on your skin so that's why the creams and all 
it's hard to get them to work because they're literally just getting rid of the scale. They're not actually going to work from your inside. Um, so yeah, hopefully they might find something in the future that's not as dangerous to take as them other tablets and will help to clear it up because I feel it's all from the inside you need to clear it and also, you know, try to be as less stressful as possible because that's like a really big thing for some people. Um, like my psoriasis is never gone, it's constantly there but I do notice if I'm stressed it'll get more red and way more flaky and stuff like that. But some people only get it when they're stressed out, like they'd be clear all the time and then say something bad happens to them, then they'll get patches of it. Mine doesn't work like that, but some people's does, do, it does. So it is important to kind of keep your head clear and, I don't know, like just focus on good things rather than bad things. <laughs> I don't know, it's not be stressed, but you just have to, to help yourself. Um, Anyways, I have got a video of how I do my makeup and products and stuff I use on my face, so I'm not going to talk about all that. I want to just show what I use on my body. Um, this is something I use in the shower, and like this is the best thing ever for getting the scale off. So, it's Daily Microfoliant, it's called. I don't know if you can see. But it's like, an ex it's an exfoliant, but it's a powder, and you'll like rub it together with water, and it's like, just rub it around your face and wash it off. But that makes my skin so soft, and most of the time I'll take all the... The scale off my face and um, as I said it's not really working great at the moment because my skin is really bad but well it's not really bad but it is it's not it's just not coming off as much as it used to and um, this is one of the medical kind of things I'd use on my eyes because they just never clear and if I'm going out or anything I'll use this all week just to clear it up but I wouldn't use this all the time because it's a steroid and like you're not really supposed to like it's bad for your skin but it's this it's called Pro topic, um, it is really good, but I notice when I drink alcohol, my eyes feel really hot after it, which is mad. And then I use this moisturizer on my body, it's a vino, and it's just this skin relief nourishing lotion. Just put that on done for a fiver. Um, yeah, I really hope like this helps some people that just have questions, but just to understand it a little bit more. Um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to talk about because I just felt like doing it for ages and I didn't know whether to or whatever, so anyways, it's done now. Um, if anyone has any questions or and just leave them below because I do like answering people and it's good to just know there is other people with the same kind of feelings and that's kind of why i done it as well because when you talk to someone, it, it's really, it just makes you feel so much better. Sorry, my memory card got full, but yeah, it's just so much better when someone actually understands the same situation one more thing i want to say is no you can't shave when you have it because it just reefs your skin off so i literally would just shave when it's necessary other than that i don't um another thing is it does it hurt sometimes um if you scratch it and break the skin yeah also i've had it like behind my ear and it's actually cracked like in that crease and you can get infected and all that's really really sore um but if you leave it alone it's not sore like most of the time when it's red as well it's not raw skin it's just that the scale is off it so it's not actually always sore just because it's really red it's just if you're scratching at that then it's like it does it's like literally like raw skin um another thing i forgot to say is that products don't affect my skin much like i can use kind of you know like dermatologic and stuff on my face and it doesn't affect it but other people it would so just like don't use stuff just because i said so like you always know, should test stuff because everybody's is so different um yeah that's it <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching um make sure you subscribe to my channel and like add me on all my social media and stuff like that and um, yeah so and again please don't feel sorry for me because i'm not trying to get that out of people i'm just explaining stuff and that is all goodbye